I'm Paul, I play drums in the band Silver Street. My name is Dan. Uh, even more well, uh, sometimes people call me Subi too. I'm Allison Weiss, and I'm on this year's Warped Tour compilation. Oh man. It's pretty overwhelming. It's pretty awesome. I'm very excited to be a part of it. Holy shit, I'm a part of that. And that was almost 10 years ago, which is terrifying. It was like all my teenage dreams coming true. God, I'm fucking old. We're really glad that we got to push our EP, running out of places to go again. It was like hard to find new bands that you could love, and the Warped Comp was the easy access, because it was like, here's a comp, and there's like seven bands on here you know, and about 46 you don't. So fall in love. The best part about Warp Tour was hanging out with my friends all day. I don't even remember really who I saw. I think I stood in line for a while to get MXPX to sign a poster. But for me it was like, we were just a bunch of 16 year olds driving to the Warp Tour, no parents, no rules. Running from stage to stage to like, check these bands out. And it was just cool because it was so diverse, even though like, it was a punk rock tour and they didn't even have just punk rock bands. Philadelphia's work tour is actually across the river in Camden. I really only came to see Less Than Jake. I was young and I, I wouldn't want to see Less Than Jake so fucking bad. And I was watching Alien Ant Farm because that fucking Michael Jackson cover was cool. And I'm crowd surfing because I'm 15 and that's fucking awesome. And it's a huge dust cloud and security doesn't see me and I go right over on the back of my head. And I have this dope scar, I don't know if you can still see it. Yeah, hair's not going to grow there. 2001 or 2002 was the first Warped Tour I ever went to. And I saw a Noise for a Name play. That was the first time I ever saw them play, and they were my favorite band growing up. We saw Trey Cool from afar, and we were going to try and go up and say hey to him. And when we got about, I don't know, 150 feet away or something like that, Trey decided to pee outside of his bus, so we did a 180 pretty <laughs> fast, so we never got to meet Trey. So I fall, and I reach back, and I'm just like, God damn it, that's a lot of blood. They take me to the hospital, they spray my head off with water, and they're like, it's going to be a while, but we got to stitch you up. And I'm waiting, and I'm waiting, and I'm waiting. Yo, fuck it, what's the worst that can happen? I'm gonna go see Less Than Jake. And I walk out of the hospital and I walk back, scrawny little white kid, bleeding from the head, hair all up in cool spikes, wandering around looking for the warp tour. In 04, we did several weeks, and that, that's the time we're talking about where we're on a different stage every day. Every day you'd wake up, you go to production, and you find out your set time, and that could dictate your whole future. There's a local stage in Michigan and Detroit, and we just got on last minute one year because we weren't on the Michigan date, and we just played under this overpass thing, this weird bridge inside of Comerica Park, and it was awesome. We played with people who have maybe not heard you ever, maybe they've heard your band name, maybe they haven't, but they might be walking by, they might like what they hear. After the festival shuts down, all the bands like have their own party in the parking lot, and they just like hang out in our lawn chairs, like a bunch of old grandpas and talk about the day. One of my favorites is when I got to sing with Hella Goodbye. Everything's running a very certain, very particular way. And the last day they were on the tour, uh, Joe Morrow, who was playing in the band at the time, is also in the other member, was like, come up and sing here in your arms with, uh, with Forrest. So I go up there and every day Forrest would do the, like, you are the one, the one that lies close to me. And then everything would stop and the crowd would go, whispers hello, I missed you quite terribly. But I decided I was gonna do the part. Except, I sing about a hundred fucking times louder than Forrest. So it's like, You are the one, the one, the one close to me. Whispers hello, I miss you quite terribly! It just shatters everything. Totally fucking ruins this song.